Here's a spiny lobster, which is a specialty here on Catalina Island. Definitely the item to get at this restaurant, Lobster Trap, one of the big hits of town. Mm. Truly delightful experience. You can't miss this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am here on Catalina Island today and I'm gonna do a mini food tour here covering some of the best and most exciting foods that you can eat on this island. And I'm gonna kick it off with the seafood restaurant which is a local favorite called Lobster Trap. This restaurant's pretty cool because they have a wide selection of great foods that you can try on the menu but they are most known for what's called their spiny lobster which is a specialty here at this restaurant locally caught and it's served in a very beautiful presentation great taste and all that stuff it's one of the things that's most talked about here on this island so i knew i had to try this spot so this is definitely one of the go-to restaurants on catalina so if you guys want to see one of the best seafood restaurants on catalina island in avalon then you must stick all the way to the end of this episode so that you can see this amazing seafood feast that i'm about to have today and also if you're new to this channel take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because i post these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on it. so go ahead do that right now and i'm gonna get me some of the seafood right now This is a pretty big menu. They got a lot of selections here. I'm definitely gonna try some of the appetizers, like the monkey balls, which sounds interesting. And I heard their bacon wrapped scallops are also very good, so I gotta try that as well. And then the entrees are the heavier ones. Other than the famous lobster, I definitely wanna try their sea bass, because I heard that is a big hit here with some of that sauteed tomato basil cream sauce. So in here in this kitchen, there's a lot of action going on here, making a lot of the fish, seafood pasta and of course the famous spiny lobster which is a must get at this restaurant so i guess the way they cook the lobsters is that first they bake it in the oven and then afterwards they would put some cream sauce on it and then it will continue to toast and then afterwards they would drizzle it with some of that butter which always makes it taste really good and finish that plate off with some rice and vegetables a complete big meal Beginning with my first appetizer, this is the monkey balls. It's ahi tuna stuffed with mushroom, deep fried tempura. So basically tempura on the outside, some mushroom and ahi tuna on the inside with some dipping sauce. And right here, this is their famous buffalo milk cocktail, a specialty here on this island. You can't really find it in too many other places, but here it is a must get drink here. Ooh. Okay, so first thing I notice is that it's very creamy. Not as creamy as a milkshake, but kind of close to that. Definitely taste the vodka inside of here. And then the, uh, the milk, it's definitely very milky. It's interesting, yeah, very interesting. I do like it, because I like milk. I like uh, cocoa, chocolate flavor. It has a banana flavor inside because there's some sort of a banana additive in here as well. But this one so far is pretty good. Nice creamy drink. So here we go with the first monkey ball with a generous amount of that dipping sauce. Mm. Wow, it's really good. Definitely reminds me of a Japanese dish. Just like it sounds, so inside the tuna is cooked and then the mushroom cooked all the way. So there's definitely some of that mushroom soupiness as well. And then on the top, it's crispy because remember, it's tempura. These are really good bite-sized snacks. I've never heard anything like this before, so I guess you can only find it here at this restaurant. I would highly recommend it. It's really good. And here's another one of their popular appetizers. This is the Oyster Rockefeller. Oh yeah, it is rocking. Broiled oysters on the half shell with cream and spinach. And you'll notice that there's some lemon, so you can sprinkle it all around, make it sour, and the bread as well. And then my other appetizer, this is the bacon wrapped scallop, which is these plump juicy scallops wrapped in this delicious looking bacon with some tartare sauce, cocktail sauce on the side, 
Since it comes with a lemon, I'm just gonna sprinkle it on because I'm assuming whatever they give you is gonna make this taste very good. Maybe I'll begin by trying some of the tartar sauce with it. So you could choose between scallops or shrimp. Scallops are such a perfect choice because the scallops are so soft, it really melts in your mouth. So tender. And the bacon, uh, it tastes like bacon, but I like bacon, it's really good bacon. It's a good idea to add some of that lemon juice and the tartar sauce because it is amazing. In fact, I'm gonna take it and dip it in some of this cocktail sauce to kind of change up the flavor a little bit. Mm. That is such a good appetizer. Yeah, so far every appetizer I've had was so good, all in its own way. But then I know this one won't disappoint either. The oysters on the half shell. Ooh, and it's smoking hot too, so you gotta be careful, guys. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. It's like cream spinach on top of this oyster. Like I said, it's piping hot, so you gotta be careful. But uh, I heard that you can also take the bread and what you can do is take some of the oyster with a generous amount of cream. Oh. That's so perfect. In fact, if I just had this as my main entree, just have a lot of this, I'd be so happy walking out of this restaurant. And here's the main attraction, guys. This is my lobster, the spiny lobster. This is some shrimp stuffing that's inside of it. It comes with some butter, lemon. You get a choice of different size. I decided to get baked potato for mine today. And this is the, the sea bass. So I guess they combined it all in this one plate just to make it a little more efficient, which is completely fine with me. And an interesting trivia about the spiny lobster is that unlike, for example, the main lobsters, it doesn't have those two big front claws. And it looks like the size is kind of smaller too, but it's supposed to have a delicious briny flavor to it. And by the looks of this, it is definitely fresh. Looks like it has been caught very recently, you know, live lobster here. But before I get to that, I want to try some of this sea bass with this creamy tomato sauce all over it, which is beautiful. It's so soft, you don't even have to cut into it with a knife. That is like so, so good. Wow. Melt in your mouth soft, which is how you want it. And the tomato sauce is not as tomatoey as I thought it was gonna be, like overpowering sweetness. It tastes really good. Like a subtle tomato, creamy, Flavor, just a little bit peppery as well. Ah, here we go, woo! Look at that huge piece right there. Yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do is dip into some of this butter and just kinda go for the whole thing. Mm. Oh, that is a fresh lobster. Seriously, it is so, so fresh. And you can taste the difference between a live lobster and a dead lobster. The texture is so different. This one is definitely a live lobster. And also, their famous clam chowder. Can't leave here without trying this. One of the popular items here at this restaurant. Mm. Wow, that is one really creamy, creamy, milky clam chowder. But it's so good though. Their menu is so amazing. They, even all the appetizers, I was so blown away with. Um, when you go to the entrees, like I said, you could go the fish route or you can order the lobster, which is what this restaurant is known for. It has a very simple, natural taste to it. If you're into that, you're really gonna love the lobsters. And you know, lobster, you can get it like in the bisque as well as in the lobster rolls as well. So there are a few different ways you can eat the lobsters, but definitely lobsters you cannot miss out on here on this island. This is a place to get it. If you don't know where else to get it, on Catalina. I gotta walk off all of this 
calorie that I put on headed to my hotel room right now. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode of Rockstar Eater. If you enjoyed what I'm doing here on the show, give me a thumbs up. Also comment on the section below because if you've been to this restaurant, love to hear your story. If we have any other suggestions, I love to hear it. And finally, please subscribe so that you can get these food and travel videos weekly. And there's more Catalina food adventures coming up soon. So don't miss out on that. Hope you have a rocking day today, folks. And I'll see you guys in the next video.